Hi everyone, this is Gabe for the Disciples here and today we're gonna do one of those sort of combo videos You guys might be used to seeing me doing them from Dragolink But today it's actual Dragolink, today we're doing it on Tri-Brigade Lyrusk um, So the idea is pretty similar, I guess, on the Dragolink hands I'm gonna draw like opening hands and explain my thought process as I go through them This deck is slightly different as it's pretty, it's more linear than Dragons But I still have some things that I think that you need to play to get instead of just looking at the spreadsheet however very good spreadsheet you can buy it from my good slant tablinario i will use it as reference for the hands while i check it after editing to see if i messed up because i probably will let's be real uh but so just so you guys know uh this is the list it's similar to the deck profile that is in the channel however uh this list does have part of desires uh here yep there we go uh i'm doing it the desires because a lot of people ask me about how pot works in the deck and it adds a bit of a free flow element so it's a bit more challenging in the sense that sometimes you're going to have to work with the desires banish you got to consider when to desire in the combos uh, and it's like as it's just test hands it makes more sense to play this than a card like troll so i think it is, this list just has like slightly less hand traps and more pots just for hand for test ratios but the idea is similar it's going to be similar as we did with dragons similar as we did with I mean, with dragons, with the, the dragon link videos. But without further ado, we, we can do some test hands here. I'm just keeping it as a proper shuffle so you guys know this is not staged. Well, not that I'm smart enough or good enough at editing to stage it, so let's be real. Okay, I think this should be enough. Uh, so, Sparrow, Fractal, Troll, Call, Barrow. Alright, um, good hand. This is the the usual this is the usual call cobalt combo. So basically Wagtail is kinda of worthless. The difference is we already have a try and we already have uh we already have a barrel, so we basically are like one search up. I think this is gonna make more sense when I explain it. So let's think of the hand. This card is relevant, right? So the troll doesn't change your hand. In this moment, these are like the four cards that matter. So let's put them here. Uh, you usually want to start, especially going first, you want to start with Warbler because Warbler is what baits interrupts the best. And like, if you get, for example, like Valor on Warbler, you can continue to normal seven Cobalt. It's way better to start by Call Search Warbler than going like Fractal Dump, Normal, try to make first, that's first special. This is better into Nib, it's better into everything. So rule of thumb is yes we start with, we start we start trying to get warbler. If we get nipped, uh, if we get drawed here, uh, we'll get warbler. So we'd have like warbler sparrow. So that's two monsters. Fractal is equivalent for two, and we have canary. So I guess it's like Simorg DDL to draw uh, with draw in hand. So it's pretty decent. So uh, if we don't intend to draw, we can for sure go for this first. Let's get warbler. Um, then yeah, uh, Warbler effect. So here my thought process is like, okay, if Warbler resolves, we basically cleared imp. I mean, we clear draw once this happened, right? Uh, Warbler effect. If Warbler doesn't get interacted, we kind of clear Valor. We clear Gamma and we somewhat clear Imperm because sometimes people try to hold Imperm for the Banish 4 on the kit if you, they think you're going for the off play. So it's pretty. It, it, it sometimes you you can be sure they they don't have imperm. Also, bird calls like a massive ash target, so you kind of know there's no ash at this point. But so basically now you're like on imperm nib, imperm nib, uh, imperm. Oh, Jesus, my, my brain's gone. Uh, imperm and nib as like the two last hand traps that they can probably have here, or nib plus like Valor or nib plus gamma. But you don't really have a good way to play around uh, them holding nib plus a hand trap, so there's not much point. So it's just some cobalt. Uh, we'll go cobalt effect. We will search Nervo here, even though you have Fracto, it's still better to use Nervo. Uh, whenever you're doing this combo, even if those two are blanks, you always start by searching Nervo because in case the XYZ gets interrupted with. You'd rather have Nerva than Swallow, unless you have like a Wagtail in hand, then you would want to get Swallow first. So, we got Nerva, those two. Make this. There is no point boosting to play on Ghost Ogre, I guess. Um, small thing, but. Uh, you can. I mean, another thing. 
the effect of Cobalt applies on the monster even if it discards the attached. So if you're not gonna banish this instantly for a try, what you can what you can do sometimes is go like detach this one. Uh, because sometimes people think now you they can target and now they can veil it. You're not doing anything wrong, you're just using a card effect. Uh, it's their fault if they try to veil this after a while it, you, it can't get targeted. So yeah, this is a kind of a cool thing you can do. Uh, because sometimes people don't know how Cobalt interacts with this card. So we like detach one, uh, we'll start Swallow. Uh, then Swallow summons Narvo. We only have one in Grave, so we, won't, we don't want to banish. Even if we have two in Grave, sometimes it's worse to use Nervo before making F0 because it kind of plays into Neb. Because, for, for example, imagine we start this combo with Fractal instead of Cobalt, right? So we'd have like Fractal in Grave. Uh, then we go Nervo effect, banishing Chu to some of the Furjat, and we'll make the rest title here. You get Nibiru, then the Nervo adds a tri, a tri Beast, and then like you go normal summon, banish farm, make sure, right? But then you have nothing left in your extra to actually link them off, because the first shot would already be engraved, because it would have been gotten a beer root. So I don't like the line that you does this first. It ends on slightly more, like sometimes it ends on, like an extra DDL to the board. But I think you just like risk playing into Neb. End of the day, you kind of win if your board resolves unless you get board breaker, bar breaker. And if you got board breaker, it doesn't really matter what you do because it gets hit by the bar, by dark ruler anyway. So what's the point? So yeah, I think we we make a recital here. Uh, this fractal's in my hand. This is great. So we got frac. Uh, you can. So, right. You can detach Nervo. If you detach Nervo, uh, it's worse into Crow if your play didn't play into Crow so far. So, for example, detaching this makes them more like, makes like their Crow better. So you want to, on average, keep this here. Unless you kind of read they might like be saving Ash for Nervo. That's another thing people do sometimes. People people do weird things. Uh, but here, since we have a try, there's no point playing into, in, playing into Crow. So we're just, just going to detach Swallow. I think that I'm going to search. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting here, because it's not the easiest turn to play out. Because the way it's gonna go is that we kind of because we if we what can I say words if. If we if, like if we search Wagtail, we don't get access to Crow unless we banish Far, but then we lose it to Imper. So I think actually Nervo is the best search if you're trying to do the board and you want to search Wagtail if you're playing for follow up. So searching Nervo allows you to do DDL, Simor, Ensemble, F0. Searching Wagtail allows you to do Crow plus a bird call in hand. I think Wagtail is better on average. Be just because like it, it's like as I said before, like if your board resolves, you kinda win most of the time. It doesn't the difference between an F0 or not. I think like extra follow-up is better and loving crow instead of F DDL, even if DDL is usually a better interrupt, usually pays off. And especially in this deck, for example, the scissor hand, right? You have like the board plus draw. So if you got board breaker, you'd have like draw, and you'd have crow, and you'd have like an, a bird coin hand. So I like going for like the follow up plays as much as possible. Because I think the way to lose once you combo is just to get blown out by by uh blown out by a board breaker. So you can do this. Um wait. Is it what they actually? I think it's actually just crow straight, you know? I think you actually just straight up search crow. Cause one, two, three, four. All right, uh, yeah. Uh, I think it depends here. I'm gonna show what you do if you search wagtail first in this position, and what you do if you search crow first, and what's the upsides and downsides. Cause it goes a lot if people are holding imperm for kit or not. So let's start with the line that you search. You search wagtail. Right, uh, so you search Wag, uh, you'd go those two into F0, uh, go Nervo. So Nervo probably just gets a Keras. On this line, yeah, on this line we would get a Keras. 
and then we would make f0. I'm always making f0 in defense. Uh, it's better into everything except Mother Spider. So as long as we're not playing against B Trooper, we should be feeling pretty safe. Uh, because it's better into Flunder. Uh, also, if you get like Storm Droplet, it's better. And in the mirror, if they Mystic Mind, they can't crash into this. So, I mean, it's like small things, but it doesn't have a better one anyway, so there is no point putting an attack. And against like Lightning Storm, and, like if they go like Storm Chain Droplets, if this is on defense, they still need to clear it, so it's another body they need to worry about. It's small things. So we'll do this, and uh, here we have Frack, right? So we can go normal Fractal. Uh, here you can banish 4 or banish 2. If we if we banish 4, our um, Ensemble has less materials, but we end on Diddy Crow and Fractal on board. If we if we banish 2, we... We, we 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 get the the first sorry we get the first jet back anyway, but if we banish two, it's better into imperm because like for example here right if you banish four and you get impermed, it's very bad because now you kinda need to go like Keros pitch wagte you want to like barrel some of those back, and you only end like half board, and like it's a very expensive half board if you get imperm for four. But this is assuming people are holding Imperm for the Oath choke point. Because, I mean, even I know, I know we're not doing Oath, but if we were, this would still be the Oath choke point. I just realized my camera is in the front of the bench pile. Let me move it this way. Um, but I think, like, let's do the, the one that bench 4 for, for this explanation's sake. So it would go like this, bench 4, summon Shurag. Uh, then these two would make Furjat. And then you can search the crow here. And then Furjat can summon the Wagtail. The Wagtail can search as the follow up bird call. And then these two can make Smorg. So we'd have the Furjat add back, Furjat draw and, and put back. Let's just put this back for. Take, and you would have like barrel. So you have like barrel, and you would have an assembler for two, and you have and you have apex on the other face. This is the line if you add wagtail, right? I'll put things back just so we are back into the the other board state. Uh, this goes. This should go back. This goes back. This is in hand. This is in grave, and we have a search because it's the search from this one. The other line is that you search. Uh, you 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 can choose to like straight up just search crow from the second recital. It's here. And then instead of searching Keros with Nervo, you'd probably search the um, just kit. This is probably my favorite line out of the out of the three of them because I think it's just the one that plays around more stuff. You just search kit of the nerve instead of searching the Kairos, and then you just like normal kit. You would just banish three. You just like straight up just make some arc. And then you just barrel and just make ensemble. Uh, it's basically the same board that the other line ended. But this one ends with kit on board, and you save Furjet and you save a Shurag. So like the other the other one basically is doing extra steps. Uh, but the other one ends with, instead of this fractal, it it had a Keras and it had, a, it had a bird call. So you're basically trading the bird call for an extra kit. That line works best, of course, if you didn't use bird call the turn, because then you get an extra, an extra push. Uh, putting back again, sorry for this, I just want to explain like how, how different you can play from that, that situation. Uh, this crow instead of the crow, we can we can actually search Nervo from it. So we could choose to search Nervo, and then we would search the um, we would search Keras from the Fergit. Not from the Fergit, sorry, from the Nervo itself. We we'll search Keras. And then you can 
Normal Nervo. Banish Chu. Make Furjat. Uh, Furjat summon the Fractal. This line's pretty cool as well. I think this actually might be slightly better, now that I think about it. Uh, so it makes him work here. Uh, the first jet will trigger, so we get uh, the draw and the put back. Uh, let's just search some Fiendra and throw. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, so we have the draw and the put back. Uh, let's put back the Keras here, I guess. We could do Keras if we wanted to, but I don't think it's worth it. And then here, which is kind of cool, is that we can go uh, Fractal Effect. Banish Chu, Chu make DDL, and since we didn't use Fractal this turn, we can Fractal Effect to send itself from the field, to send the Barrel, not the Barrel, the Wagtail, and then you can Barrel the Wagtail, which then will trigger this Wagtail as the only bird we didn't use this turn, so we get the, we get the Bird Call. And then you just make Ensemble and you summon Apex in the end phase. So again, I mean, let's just change thank you for the other, for the Keras. It's easier to compare to the other hands. Uh, it's very similar. You end on one try follow up and one bird follow up. You're basically changing Crow for F0 compared to that other hand. Uh, this one uses Verjat. Uh, it depends, your end bard is better, but it's worse into bard breakers. Uh, it's also cool this one that you end with more birds in circulation because you have like one, two, three, four. But yeah, uh, I think a lot of the skill from this deck comes from being able to go through the hands and analyze them in context. Like uh, this hand, for example, it was a pretty simple hand because it was like call plus paro, but it actually took us like I mean, because I, I, I do talk a lot, but it took like 17 minutes to like decide which line that I think is the best, and I don't think there's an, an outright best. I think it just depends on the context and on the on the matchup and how people are playing, how people are doing their hand traps. So I think it's pretty interesting. Probably have time for like two more if I go fast enough. I don't want to bore you to death. Um, but yeah, that's just pretty interesting. I hope it wasn't too confusing because I thought the, the going back. Because I mean, the thing is like, if I'm doing those on the fly, I also have questions. I also need to go and check. So that's just like my first impressions. The idea of those sorts of videos is giving my thought process and how do I approach it. So I, I hope that was a good representative of that. I'm way more comfortable playing dragons than I am playing this. Uh, it's been, I played way more dragon like in my life than I played birds. <laughs> so I, I can be wrong. Uh, maybe someone spots a better play there, but that's my opinion at least. So, okay, another hand, uh, pot. Oh, cool that we had a hand with desires. Uh, Talent, Fractal, Warbler. Oh, this is a very interesting hand. Uh, this is combo. This is, I mean, um, called by ish, like things that happen if things go wrong and you have desires. So here you have like a pretty important decision that is how do you play this hand? Uh, one option is like you choose not to desires. And you just like frack dump and then you do this. Uh, weird part about this, like the, the first thing that triggers me, like instantly, is what the hell happens if I get impermed here? Because if I get impermed here, I basically got a talent to draw and I basically wasted this fractal dump. Because like I dump a bird that doesn't do anything because it's got impermed. So I kind of went like minus one into the imperm. Um, with the desires line, you gotta think what happens if I get drawed? So if you get rolled, you'd still have Fractal plus Warbler, so it still does like a decent amount. Uh, and plus the two draws from Desires, plus the Talents. You gotta analyze everything in context, I guess. The thing is like, Talents makes playing into draw a lot better. Because like, if you get rolled, you just like, yep, a hand. And then they have three cards and you know everything. And you can like, basically just, just do whatever you want. So I think how I would play this hand, I would start with Desires. Uh, unless it's a matchup that I'm like, like, if it's Drytron, maybe. If it's Drytron, I think that I would choose not to Desires. Because I want to search Crow and I want to end on Avian. Even against Drytron, I think it's arguable. Because, like, the Desires, you probably want to Desires, like, at the end. Just to draw, like, hand traps. Uh, 
but like I wouldn't desire it now if it's Drytron, because I would like to, I would like to take the crow off and the odds of you getting hand trapped into Drytron is like minus one. But unlike no information, like blind game one, I think I would just pot first. So let's see what Desiris does. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. But that's not what we wanted to see. <laughs> Uh, barrel and this. All right, all right. I mean, the the, the benches weren't bad, other than the three sparrow uh, in a row. That was not great. But I guess we can show how we can play, like even if we don't have sparrow, because uh, since we have wagtail and we don't use call, we can basically do the same combos. We're just gonna be like slightly short, because it wasn't the greatest banish ever. But like, even if it wasn't like the greatest banish ever, it kind of traded us for like two cards, because we basically because we had the in our deck, right? So even if we're like missing a search from the sparrow, it kind of pays itself out. So we'll start with Frock. Uh, Frock and Wagtail. Then Warbler, Warbler the Wagtail, Wagtail triggers, you get Call. Um, these two make Recital. Then you go Recital effect. To get Nervo, we call for Swallow. And then we swallow some on Nervo. Uh, here uh, you can you can clear Lancia here, which is cool when you do it this way because like people probably would like to Lancia you here, uh, as you have like Nervo and Chu Trising Grave. You can pick up your Grave Virtual Look if you want to, like I'm thinking. It's kind of it's pretty good to clear Lancia here because like the way you play changes a lot if you got Lancia. Uh, you could go Nervo effect. This is one of the lines I was talking about that it's way better to like Nervo effect here because you end on DDL, but it's way worse into Nib. So I really don't want to risk it. I don't think there's a point. Uh, I want to play it safe. So I'll just make Recital Starling number two. Uh, I'll detach. So uh, I forgot Ashed. I forgot Ashed on Nervo. It's an ensemble F0 talents rip, which I think is enough. So I'll play around Crow by detaching this. Uh, to be honest, uh, if you got, if you were to get Crow, you probably have got Crow on the on the on the bird effect, uh, the warbler effect. So I guess it's fair. It doesn't really matter here. But that one probably cleared Crow. Unless I don't know, they really wanted to hold that Crow. Uh, so here we already have Barrow. We can do something similar to the DDL line of like the Banish 2, like Nervo Banish 2 Summon. So I think that's actually what I want to do here. Uh, it's basically you need to decide with this search if you want Crow or if you want DDL. Uh, I think the DDL is going to be slightly better because we don't have it. The other line is better if we had like a trigger, basically. Like if we had something that could summon a Furge that would trigger. Because that line, we were summoning Wagtail, and Wagtail was triggering. Here, since we banished all three Cobalts, we can do that. So I'll just search a kit. Sorry, uh, not a kit. Um, I'm tripping. Uh, I'll just gonna search a Nervo from the Recital. And then when this gets linked off, I'll search a kit. Not linked off, but you got a Mimo. Uh, yeah, I'll make F0, make Trick Future. And then, yeah, then Normal Nerve. Banish two. Uh, I think it's pretty blatant, but you always want to banish the tri brigades first. You want to keep as many birds as possible because of swallow. And it's just better to have birds in general because the birds actually revive things. Uh, you can furge it, summon kit. Uh, you want to summon kit to this zone because you gonna make some morgue here. So you just want to have like as many Simorg zones clear. So this is why I usually like F zeros here than this is here. I usually try to make up zero here because if I can, I would rather summon DDL here. Like here, I could, for example, like I could first that summon here and then DDL here, but that would force me to banish birds. Uh, while if I summon DDL after summoning Simorg, I get to I, I get to keep birds in grave. So we just put a kit here. So Jesus Christ, uh, we can just make the Simorg. So it would first that trigger uh, to to do the thing. So, Ferja draws, draws another draw. Uh, I mean, 
whatever, choose one. Just put talent, put talent back. Maybe they, they called by the draw. <laughs> uh, then you want a kid effect, uh, banishing the two tries. Choose summon DDO. Uh, then, yeah, then just barrel for swallow. Into Ensemble, into Swallow attaching this and Wagtail attaching itself, so that's four. And you would end phase uh, summon the summon the apex. So you can do the same board right by searching Crow instead. Like you, you choose to search Crow, you wouldn't end on this. You basically just have like kitten attack here and the same board. It does have last materials as well, but it would be better into Dark Ruler. So it kind of depends on how good Crow is in the matchup. Uh, but yeah, I think that's how you play that hand. Uh, Desire, as you see, like for example, you banish three Cobalt, which is very, very unlikely because it's a tree off. But even then, if you banish three Cobalt, it's not the end of the world because you have like Wagtail. And like even without Wagtail, you could still do things at hand. Uh, so I know Desire sometimes is annoying to play with because you we need to like do weird things, but it's not the end of the world. Like you you get by. Uh, and this is something that, like it kills follow up way less than Prosperity does because like with Prosperity like this is nine cards right, we basically have se seven extra deck cards left. So if we Prosperity even for three, like okay in, in Prosperity for three best case scenario been Shamarash. Uh, you'd Prosperity probably need to get rid of a Shura and have, get rid of this. So, like, la next turn you have, like, one push. If that push goes wrong, you lose. So, I think the Zara is just better follow-up-wise. Uh, and also just helps this consistency. That hand didn't need consistency. But it allowed us to play it in a way that would be a lot less worse into, like, Imperm. For example, if we if we drew Cobalt or if we drew Wagtail, there's no point. We had no reason to Fractal there. We'd rather not Fractal for a bird if we don't need to. Uh, even if Fractal for a bird ends on slightly more, it's better to not throw your cards away. Because you kind of just lose when you get board breaker or like if you get hand trapped. Uh, if your combo resolves, you're more, more often than not going to win. So there's no point risking it. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, this is longer than I thought it was. So thanks for sticking by. <sighs> I should have gotten a drink before starting this. Um, kit, Nervo, Swallow, Barrel, Imperm. That's a hand. Uh, not a good one, but a hand regardless. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. This is a, that, this is a, it's a good one to finish the video because it's a non-standard hand. So those ones are very free flowy. Uh, you have two main ways to start playing. One is making Al Mirage and then using Keras, but that's like a lot worse into most hand traps, so I think the way to go would be normal Nervo and then Swallow effect. So it goes Swallow, summon the barrel, and then overlay the two into Recital. Is it the two? What if we overlay Nervo? Let me think here. So if I overlay Nervo with these two, then I summon Keras. Uh, it's kind of rough, actually. It really depends how you want to play it. Hmm, this is rough. Because we're forced to use Swallow, so like our lines are different for the rest of the game, basically. I think this is the way to play it. Oh, don't quote me on that though, it's very awkward. Because you got an add, then you got first add, then you first add salmon. Okay, let's try like this. I'm, this is kind of going out of the fly, so I'm actually unsure. I'm gonna try both lines, I'm gonna see which ends on more, because I'm having a hard time visualizing ahead. So, the first one is that you overlay with Nervo. Uh, we overlay with Nervo, we detach this, we would search Cobalt, and we would search... Keras. Hmm. 
and then Keras can pitch kit. This is like very bad internet, by the way. But it's one of those. I think our hands shit enough that we kind of need to throw. So we would go this pitching frack. And then you can go Keras effect, banishing shoe. Just summon Fergit. You can Fergit summon Sparrow, Sparrow, search. Oh, it's actually not Sparrow, sorry. It's actually meant to be Wagtail. Yeah, it's Wagtail. And then you can go Wagtail search call. Yeah, definitely Wagtail. So you can Wagtail search call. Uh, then overlay these two into recital. Uh, recital can search the warbler. Yeah, that's it. This is the, the cool one. Yeah, that's it. So do like this. Uh, here, instead of making F0, we're actually going to do something kind of cool. I'm going to link these off for Simorg. And then for jet effect triggers, so I'm going to draw one, put one back. Uh, then I can call. So let's call at Barrow. And summon Warbler. Uh, then Warbler effect activates. Uh, Warbler doesn't have to summon level 1, it summons Little Risk. So what you can do is that you can summon Starling. And then we can go Wagtail attached to Starling and detach the Wagtail to activate this, this recital again. So it kind of saves a material, which is pretty cool. And we save a recital in the extra deck. Uh, so this I can search Crow. And then I can overlay recital and recital into Draco Future. I don't know why I comboed on this side. I was doing the other. Uh, it's kind of just the way that I started it. But oh well. Uh, then you can go Barrel. Uh, Barrel summon Swallowback. And then just hard overlay these three into Ensemble. Swallow will just attach another one. We would set Imperm and we would have Simorg. So it's slightly less follow up than the, the lines, but you see that it still got you full board, which is pretty cool. Uh, this works because we detach the Nervo. So now I want to do the same hand, but I want to do it the, the, the way that my brain decided to play that hand and see actually how much would have changed. Uh, so this is like this is like the one of the ways to do it. Like, like we do it like this. Uh, the other, I'm going to put everything back and just reset to the board state we had. So it was Imperm, Swallow, Barrel, Imperm, Swallow, Barrel, Kid Nervo. Yeah, that's it. I'll just, I'll just reset, and we're back here. Cool. Um, I mean, it starts the same regardless. Uh, just this one, I guess. Uh, and then these two. So I'll, I'll do my first instinct, which was going this way. And then I make recital, would recital effect. So recital would search sparrow, uh, but I might change this one, so bear with me. Uh, then these two can link off into Fergit, and that would trigger Nervo, so Nervo would get Keras. Uh, and then you can Fergit. So Fergit summons Sparrow. Is Fergit summons Sparrow? No, it's Fergit summon Wagtail. It, it's Wagtail. It's always Wagtail in this situation. My bad. Yeah, Fergit summon Wagtail. Wagtail. Wagtail search call. Yes, maybe this line was actually better. This this is like seems like less shit into hand traps. 
Uh, I'll pitch Kit to summon Karas still. I'm just gonna trigger Kit so I can banish one last bird. Uh, and then here, I'm gonna Karas for four. I wanna keep this recital Starling. Uh, you're gonna see, because it's gonna be a similar line from what I did the first time. So I'm gonna banish four to make Shurag. And then Shurag and Furjet uh, make Simarg. Uh, we'll trigger both, so I'll trigger first at first, cause just to see my draw. I'll search a bear, well, I mean, uh, on this, I'm just gonna put this back, cause I want to search Warbler. Yeah, yeah, this line's better, this line's better. It's way better in Shunab as well. The other line just ended in Shunab and Chobler. My, my first instinct was right. <laughs> uh, then here we call. So we call for Barrel. And summon the Warbler. Uh, the Warbler triggers to summon the one recital we had left back. Uh, here we can make recital. We can boost this to 3k, which is kind of nice because whenever this is 3k, it's kind of unkillable. Uh, we can detach the Wagtail specifically. So that allows us to get a Crow Search. Uh, and then we can Wagtail attach to recital and detach it. Should get an extra barrel for next turn or a nervo, you can choose whatever you want. I uh, actually let's get nervo because we're gonna have barrel from Ensign Blue at back, so let's get nervo for next turn. Uh, okay, and then we just go these two into F0 into Draco Future, and then we canary. Search this. Uh, I guess we end on one less material on Ensemble compared to that line, but we end with an extra search. And it's better in Chunib, so this line is definitely better. Uh, we would summon Ensemble, uh, would set the Imperm, and would have the, the chicken in the end phase. And yeah, uh, this is pretty sick. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool line. So. I think that's mainly it, because uh, it's like 37 minutes already. I didn't realize three test hands would take me this long. I kind of just go through my thoughts on it. Um, let me know if you think this is interesting. I can do more of those. I don't actually mind. I have fun doing them. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you have any suggestions re regarding the play lines, uh, let me know. Or like any questions about why something, why something instead of this. Uh, Sometimes I thought about something and didn't explicitly say it because it's just the way that it goes, right? Uh, but thanks for watching all of this. Um, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, MetaMats, Card Market. Betty will put the links in the description if he, he's feeling like it. And yeah, see you guys next time.